Hello and welcome to the third instalment of uh, my Emacs for Beginners. Uh, today I'm going to look at modes and kind of describe them a little bit and just kind of give a quick overview. Um, so modes are one of the things that makes Emacs stand out for me. Um, they change the functionality of the of the entire program, really, uh, or they can, um, and to make you more efficient at the tasks that you want to do within that file. So, you know, they let you in programming. You know, they improve um, the behavior of some things like auto indentation and syntax highlighting. Um, they let you just write plain text, but you can kind of decorate your text so you can export it uh, to, to PDFs and things like that with um, headers and page numbers and all of these things. You can do lists and general life admin with them, to-do lists, things like that. You can, I think it's also got a calendar, calendar mode that you can use uh, and there's email, you can write emails and manage emails, so there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, I only focus on the writing parts of it, so programming and life admin and kind of um, making task lists and task lists and to do's and things like that. But for those things, it's very powerful. Um, you kind of have to learn Emacs. So the general movement keys and things like that are the same and normally the same um, through all, throughout all the modes. But then within the modes, you have different shortcuts or different, the same keys might do different things. So you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to like figure it out. Um, so there's two types of modes. There's major modes and minor modes. Uh, every buffer has a major mode, and it determines the behavior of that buffer. So um, like I said, there can different shortcuts, visuals such as syntax highlighting. Um, they're loaded when you load a specific file type, generally. Um, so if I, uh, what did I call it, test.py, if I load this, uh, you'll notice down here at the bottom we have Python is the major mode, if I hover over it, major mode. So if I do things like import sys, you can see that we're getting some syntax highlighting happen there, uh, which, which is great. So if I just open a new buffer and just call it test plain, if I do import sys, it's just a plain text file. Fundamental is like the, the underlying mode for everything. Um, so the, in a way, there is no mode, it's just pure text editing. Um, and if uh, you can also change modes, so I could say um, I want this to be in, well I could change this to Python mode, this specific one. So I could then do import sys and you get the syntax highlighting. So if I did something like star hello, star star hello in Python mode is plain text. If I um, fundamental mode, it's still plain text, but then if I go to something like org mode, these become syntax highlighted. These are now essentially a list. Um, so you can also, um, so the, the major modes also provide hooks um, for minor modes, and minor modes you can have as many as you want it within uh, a buffer and they they minor modes hook into the major mode so when the minor mode gets loaded it or the major mode like gets loaded these things get hooked into each other so you can kind of pile them on top of each other and have multiple things so minor modes um, they're useful for things like linting uh, automatically formatting auto completion for programming um, there's loads of stuff they could change the way that the the buffer uh, search works. So if I, so this switch to buffer list, you can use a minor mode to make it so that it auto completes, um, things like that. And I'll go into some um, different modes and plugins and stuff in the future. Um, and if you ever want to know what modes are activated, you can uh, just do describe mode and you'll get this list of, so you'll see org mode is the major mode. Um, so uh, defined in org.l and the minor modes that are, are are activated are these which these are just the default so line number is a, a, a mode so if I go to show hide um, uh, so absolute line numbers I 
we now have line numbers. So modes are really useful. I'll go into them in more details in the future with some examples, but for now, that's modes. Um, you can search for different modes uh, on the internet. One place that I'd suggest looking is melpa.org. So melpa.org. Uh, if you go there and have a look, basically all of these 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 plugins are modes that you activate. Um, so yeah, you can kind of have a look and, and see, but maybe next video I'll go into how you start customizing Emacs to be how you want, because obviously that's an important part of your editing experience. So yep, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.